Hey, let's do some quick chemistry. So today we're looking at reaction energies. There are endothermic reactions, which absorb energy, and exothermic, which release energy. We've got energy and time on a graph. In endothermic reactions, we have our reactants at a lower energy state than our products. Over time, as that reaction progresses, it's an arrow, the energy is absorbed from somewhere. It could be your hand, it could be from the room, just the temperature in the room. And that energy then, the products have a higher energy level. So coming into this spot is energy from something. It can be thermal energy in this case. Uh, these products have weaker bonds. We have stored more energy. So those bonds are a little bit weaker than the reactants that they started with. If you're holding that thing or if you feel that thing, this feels cold because energy from your hand, your body, is then absorbed by the chemical reaction and that feels cold. Our brain interprets that as cold because we are losing energy. Exothermic is the opposite. Exothermic, exo means release. So our reactants have higher energy, higher bond energy than our products. Energy is released, so energy drops to a lower state for our products. That energy exits the system. And these therefore have stronger bonds. They are more tightly coupled because there is less energy here. These feel hot. So exothermic, endothermic, the graphs are inverse of each other. Reactants absorb energy to form a higher energy product with weaker bonds. Reactants and exothermics release a bunch of energy. Uh, we see this as heat and that feels hot to us. Our products have lower energy, giving them stronger bonds as a result. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.